my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so it is another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I am currently on the blue plan and I follow a clean approach to the program, which basically means that I eat clean, real, whole, good for you, nourishing food 90% of the time. I save that little extra 10% for all of the foods that I love and have to have. So today you're going to see all of my food throughout the day. You'll get a little bit of Diesel and Lola and you'll also get to see a couple of hauls and some new products that I found and that I'm loving. So without further ado, let's jump into this What I Eat in a Day on WW. the clean warm blankie out of the dryer huh my baby's so cozy so it's about 7 45 i'm gonna make some breakfast you guys i've been craving chocolate chip pancakes legit craving them so i'm gonna make them and we're gonna make them ww friendly clean all the things so i'm gonna use one third cup of this birch benders pancake mix in the paleo one third cup of the mix is five smart points i'm going to mix that with water i'm going to do one point worth of the lily's chocolate chips i don't get enough chocolate chips in the zero point amount so i'm going to bump it up to one smart point worth and then i'm going to do one smart point or one teaspoon of organic maple syrup one teaspoon of regular syrup is one point so i'm just going to drizzle that warm it up drizzle it over the top of my pancake and then i think i'm going to do an egg or two for zero point so i'm ready for some breakfast i have one third cup of the mix one third cup of water one point worth of lily so let's make a pancake all right guys this is real life right here my pancake doesn't look like a pancake i struggled getting it flipped over in my pan i may not have put enough nonstick cooking spray but nonetheless, it's going to taste delicious. So this is my Birch Benders chocolate chip pancake. I did drizzle one teaspoon of the maple syrup from Thrive over the top. So it is five points for the mix, one for the chocolate chips, one for the syrup, makes seven. I went ahead and cut up some organic strawberries. These are so good, you guys. For zero, one egg for zero. So my breakfast is only seven smart points. Even though it doesn't look pretty, it's going to taste delicious. I decided to place another quick order at Coffee Over Cardio, so I was gonna show you guys what I grabbed. I've really been wanting to try this coffee. This is the Saturday's Chocolate Donut. I have heard rave reviews about this coffee. Let's see what the cute saying is. Don't worry, be happy. How fun. So I have heard that this coffee is absolutely incredible. By the time you see this video, I would have tried it because I'm about to brew up a pot. So I'll let you guys know here on the screen what I thought, but I had to pick this up. And then I got this for free with my order, which was really cool. So this is a coffee over cardio. This is a workout headband, which with the cute little knot, I'm super excited about that to wear to Jazzercise. I like wearing these because they wick up the sweat as I'm working out so it's not dripping in my face. So how nice that I got that for free. And then I decided to take the plunge and try the Coffee Over Cardio Smart Start Creamer. So this is Energized Powdered Coffee Creamer. So you guys know I love the Laird. It has a fabulous ingredient. This one doesn't have as good of ingredients, but I wanted to give it a try because I really like Coffee Over Cardio. I think supporting the small business is incredible and I love everything else from them. So I grabbed the Peppermint Mocha. It does have MCT oil. It has no carbs and only 20 calories, which is half the calories in the Laird. So let's take a look at the back. 
So you can put it in cold coffee, in hot coffee. Here is your nutritional information. So it's 20 calories for a scoop. So I think it'd be one smart point. And then here are your ingredients. So what I don't love, I love that there's MCT in here. I love that they're using coconut oil. What I don't love is natural flavor. And then at the end here, do you see where it says sucralose? Sucralose is not a very good sweetener alternative. It's basically Splenda. And it has a high glycemic index for your body. It really helps it really makes your body's sugar and insulin level spike. So I don't love that, but I do like that it's the last ingredient. So nonetheless, I wanted to just give it a try. So I'll let you guys know here on the screen about that as well, because I'll have it in my morning coffee tomorrow. I also ordered a couple other things from Coffee Over Cardio. So when they come in, I'll show you guys. I do have a discount for them. I'll put that here on the screen and link it down below for you guys. I love their clothing. I love everything about them. So can't wait to brew up a pot of this coffee, give this coffee creamer a try and do my next Jazzercise workout. All right, guys, let's draw for the winner from my favorites video. I did kind of a random giveaway in my favorites video. And what I decided to give away is from Tori Bell. This is the company that I get my lashes from. If you're interested in the lashes or even the eyebrow kit or any of the cosmetics, it is linked down in the description box. But I decided to do just kind of a random giveaway as a thank you for anyone who stuck it out through my favorites video because it was a long one. I'm giving away the Tori Bell brow and liner kit so this is what it looks like so it's awesome you guys I people are super stoked about it but you actually get a stencil to help you draw on your brows or at least fill in your brows and get that nice shape that you would get from a salon there's a mirror you also get the eyebrow gel and the eyebrow brush and I'm actually giving this away this is about a $50 value to one lucky winner so what I did is I went ahead and up here I entered the URL for my video and then you can see that right there and then down here this is how we pick our winner so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the start button here and it's going to randomly select the winner of the Tori Bell brow kit congratulations to Barb S. Congratulations, my friend. You just won the Tori Bell Brow and Liner Kit. All you have to do is within 48 hours, reach out to me via email. My email is in the description box with your address and I'll get it sent out. So congratulations and thank you for everyone who watched my entire favorites video and gave a nice comment. So here's my lunch for today. I'm keeping it pretty simple. It's been a pretty busy day. I've been really wanting some of this Kite Hill dip because you guys know I'm loving it. So I went ahead and made myself a wrap so that I could use the dip. So instead of mayonnaise or anything on there, I did two tablespoons of the dip. Two tablespoons is one point, you guys. I mean, it's so good, this ranch. Uh, so excited. I have one slice of Jarlsberg light cheese. I picked this up at Trader Joe's. I've heard that you can sometimes find this at Costco, but it's only one smart point per slice. I have two ounces or one serving of this Applegate natural smoked turkey breast. This is actually zero points for two ounces. So I did that. And then I have a low carb whole wheat tortilla from La Tortilla Factory, which you guys know that I love. So for my wrap, it is two points for the tortilla, one point for the cheese and one point for the dip. So my wrap's only four smart points which is not bad and look at how good that looks. Oh, I'm so excited. And then for the other part of my lunch slash the dessert, I'm gonna do a Too Good yogurt and vanilla. And then I topped it with some granola, this granola I love. This is the Purely Elizabeth Chocolate Sea Salt and Probiotic. You can have a tablespoon of this for one point. So I went ahead and did one point worth of the granola. So my wrap is four and my yogurt with the granola is three. So this is a seven smart point lunch. Hi guys. Happy Wednesday. I thought I'd hop on really quick. I don't have any makeup on and you can see that my eye is pretty red. I had a little bit of a reaction to some cleanser and it made my eye really, really red. So this is why I use beauty counter because anything else gives me a reaction. But nonetheless, I wanted to show my face and say hello, but I also wanted to share with you guys something that I'm super excited about. So this company reached out to me and offered to send me a handbag. And it's funny that they did this because I've been in the market for a smaller handbag. I do have quite a large Michael Kors handbag. I'll insert some clips here for you guys 
guys that I picked up on my little trip to Vegas when I did my Facebook meetup and I love it but it's big and it's cumbersome and sometimes when I just am going in the store really quickly or doing a little bit of shopping or if I'm going on a walk and I want to take my phone my ID whatever it may be and very much so when I travel I want a smaller purse I don't want that big clunky purse when I'm doing these types of activities so when they reached out to me Initially, my thought was, no, thank you. I'm not really in the market, nor um, do I know anything about your company. But after doing a little bit further research into the company itself, as well as the handbags, you guys, I can't wait to share this with you. So the company is actually called Teddy Blake, and it is a designer, like Italian designer handbag company. Their handbags are all leather. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're stunning on the outside, stunning on the inside, and they had a crossbody which is also what I was looking for small handbag that would be perfect for traveling now that the world is starting to get back a little bit more normal I am planning a trip of course to San Diego to see my best friend because I wasn't able to go and do the fun run with her because of the virus so I have basically credit waiting for me to go on a trip so this is going to come in so handy for that I'm also going to take this with me when I go camping because Again, it's less cumbersome. I can fit just the bare necessities in there, which is really all that I need. So when you open up your box, this is what it looks like. It's so beautiful and it has like a magnetized closure so that you can actually store your handbag in here if this isn't a handbag that you're gonna be using every single day. So I was so excited to go on there and find this smaller handbag. Now they have so many different types of handbags. They have large, medium, they even have tablets and laptop types of handbags. But I do have some information here that they sent me on their brand. And I want to share it with you because I'm literally really impressed. So it says experience craftsmanship in Italian leather. So you're going to get the best of the best when it comes to craftsmanship and long lasting handbag. It smells so amazing, like real Italian leather. It's luxury without the luxury price tag. So as you guys know, if you buy a luxury handbag, you can spend a thousand, twelve hundred dollars very easily on a small handbag like I picked up. And Teddy Blake is a fraction of that. And in fact, right now they have 70% off most of their handbags. And I have a discount code for you as well. So I love their handbags. Again, it's luxury at not a luxurious price. So the one that I picked up is the Sarah Oro. And this is a seven inch handbag and it has the really long crossbody strap, but it also has other straps that are shorter and one just as a handle if that's the option that you wanna go. But look at this. Look at this detail and this studding. It does have the Teddy Blake logo on the back. So I picked up the gray, but what I love about this is look at the inside, you guys. It's pink. And I think that's just absolutely amazing. It's just beautiful. There is an extra, like I said, smaller strap on the inside if you wanna be able to just kind of carry it here by the handle. But I wanted it mainly for the size, but also for the crossbody function because that just makes walking around, traveling, all those things so much easier. I think it's gorgeous. I love the gray with the gold. I literally love it. And it comes with a storage bag as well. So again, if you didn't wanna store it in the box, you can store it in the bag. But it's literally, I mean, this is probably the nicest box I've ever seen. It kind of folds up, closes close with a magnet. You guys, it's, it's awesome. So if you're looking for a great gift, a birthday gift, maybe a little something for yourself as you go along your weight loss journey and you hit those milestone goals, Hashtag dog mom life, Lola's weekend or toy. Highly recommend Teddy Blake. I'm impressed by the company. I'm impressed by the overall like customer service and questions being answered. Hundreds and hundreds of handbags. Again, at 70% off on their website plus my discount code, I'll put that here on the screen, and I'll link that down below the website, and I'll link this exact purse. It comes in several colors. I just opted for gray, probably because I love the pink inside, but I, again, you guys, it smells so good. I'm so excited to use this as a more travel type of a handbag. So this afternoon, it's about three. I'm gonna make a protein shake, and this is just gonna tide me over until dinner. So I'm gonna be using my Terra's Way grass-fed organic protein. I shared this in my favorites video. This is one of the very first proteins that I transitioned to with the clean approach. Protein powder is really, really delicious. You can't beat grass-fed 
and organic. So it has two smart points per two scoops and you're getting 21 grams of protein. It has really, really good ingredients as well. So yeah, one of my very favorite proteins. You can buy this on Amazon. I do have it linked in my Amazon store below, but you guys, the best price for this is on Thrive. It actually saves you like $8 for the container. It's, thir it's $32 on Amazon or $25 on Thrive. So down below is a link to join Thrive. So I recommend you guys do that. And you get $20 worth of free product. You could certainly use it to pick this up because this protein powder is delish. And then I'm going to do one cup of the Cliffia Farms unsweetened almond milk. I'm going to do about a half of a cup of Simple Truth organic pineapple. I don't know why, but pineapple just sounds really good today. So I'm going to do that. I have a bag that I froze of some organic kale and a half of a banana. So let's make a protein shake. So here she is. I've got the kale, a half a banana, pineapple, almond milk, Tara's whey. Let's blend this up. Yum. Look at that. Oh. Yum, you're getting in some greens. It's sweet from the pineapple and the banana. Yum. Okay, so the terrace weighs two smart points. The almond milk is one point. I do not count points for blended fruit. So my protein shake is three smart points. It is dumping rain. We had a bit of a storm last night. It's just continuing into today. We had thunder, we had lightning. Look at, we're still a little bit windy today. You can see that tree moving, but it is literally dumping rain. And look who's out here. Yep, he's chilling out here. He doesn't get wet because you can see where the wetness stops because he's under our little awning of our house right there. But he loves it out there because it's nice and cool, even in the pouring rain. Oh, look at that guy. And there's no way this one's going out there, huh? She is dug out herself a little spot in the bed. I just covered her with a blanket. And then she likes to lay here because she can look right out the window and see everything that's going on outside. We do have the window open to get a little bit of cool air in here, but well, hi, the little princess of the house here. So for dinner tonight, we're going to make mini turkey meatloaves. We're gonna serve this with some yummy roasted potatoes and some steamed broccoli. So let me show you first what's in the meatloaf, how I'm going to season my potatoes, and then we'll get started. First, you're going to need one pound of 93% ground turkey. You could also use 96.4 ground beef. It ends up being about the same amount of points or you can use 99% turkey and recalculate your points. It will probably lower them quite a bit actually. So I'm gonna do 93%. I just like a little bit of fat in my turkey better. It makes for a juicier meatloaf. And then you're going to need some salsa, rolled oats. You also need mushrooms according to the recipe. I just don't have any, so I am omitting that. Quite a bit of spices, some salt and pepper, thyme, minced onion or fresh onion whatever your preference is you guys know we like minced onion in meatloaf garlic powder parsley flakes and then of course you're going to need an egg and then for our potatoes i'm going to roast up some of these trader joe's organic red potatoes i'm going to measure out one pound on my food scale and we're going to cook a total of one pound of potatoes that way i can gauge how many potatoes per serving and stay within my points I'm gonna to top mine with just about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then you guys, look what is out. Dax came out with a new seasoning and you guys know my love of Dax. It is awesome, awesome ingredients, no salt, no MSG. So if you're watching your salt or great before weigh-in so it doesn't give you that salt bloat, but the flavor is killer. The flavor in this ranch is so good, you guys. It's very concentrated, so you don't need to use a lot, which is nice. It makes it last a really long time. It is zero points, zero calories. Here's what's in it. It's literal, real ingredients. Dehydrated onion, garlic, spices, citric acid, parsley flakes, and chives. That's it. This is the nothing but the ranch from Dax. Highly recommend you check out Dax. I have every single one of their seasonings. They're all salt free. They're all clean, whole food. I do have 10% off and free shipping for Dax. I'll put that code here on the screen and the link is down in the description box, but we are going to flavor ours with this rock and ranch. So base or this nothing but the ranch. So basically we're going to be making a ranch potato. Yum. So let's get started on dinner. So I went ahead and measured out one pound of potato 
potatoes, so this is them. On my food scale, I'm gonna go ahead and dice these up. I did line my baking sheet with some parchment paper and we're gonna pop these potatoes onto here, season them up. We are cooking everything at 375 because that's what the meatloaf needs to cook at. So these are gonna take a while at that low of a temp. So let's get these going so we can get them in the oven. our potatoes are done that's one pound of potatoes doesn't look like much does it guys your eye can be deceiving so make sure you weigh it out we're going to divide this into four servings so i mean really that's about a serving of potatoes which is about 100 calories pretty crazy so let's go ahead and add about one tablespoon of oil and i just am willy-nilly gonna put this on because i'm gonna take my hands which is what i always do and mix my potatoes well in the oil you want to make sure that your potatoes get nice and coated in the avocado oil before you add on any seasoning now for the seasoning are nothing but the ranch oh i'm so excited how yummy are these potatoes going to be you guys so excited so i'm going to do kind of the same process i'm just going to do my best to get a little bit of ranch on all the potatoes but i am going to again just use my hands and mix this all together make sure that these potatoes are nice and coated in the ranch seasoning oh so excited okay so again, just mix them together. Make sure they all have a little bit of the seasoning on there. And then these are gonna go in at 375. And while these are cooking, let's make the meatloaves. So let's make our little meatloaves. I've added one pound of the ground turkey here to my bowl. We're going to add all the rest of our ingredients, starting with one egg. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. Make sure you don't get a shell. I'm pretty good at that. And then we're going to add in one cup of salsa. That's going to give our meatloaves a ton of flavor and a little bit of extra moisture. We're going to do one half of a cup of rolled oats. And then we've got seasonings galore. So let's go ahead and start with a big pinch of salt and a big pinch of pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. We're gonna go ahead and add in some thyme. And I don't ever measure, I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon and a half of thyme. I'm going to put in about three tablespoons of minced onion. That's about the same as cutting up one fresh onion-ish, and that's what I want for the meatloaf. We're gonna do a couple of teaspoons of garlic powder, which is going to just really bring out the flavor in that salsa as well and give it a nice garlic flavor. And then we're going to do about a tablespoon of parsley flakes. And then we're digging in with our hands, guys, and we're gonna mix this all together. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take some nonstick cooking spray, give our baking sheet a good spray. We don't want these little meatloafs to stick. And we are going to hand form our meatloaf. So we want five total. So just do your best to divide your meat mixture here into five. And remember, these are mini meatloaves. So they're not gonna be huge meatloaves. So what I like to do is lay it out on my baking sheet, press it down, and then I like to kind of form it into a meatloaf shape, basically a rectangle shape, like you would if you were making one big meatloaf and then we're going to repeat five times until we have five mini meatloaves and here are our five little meatloaves this is pretty good size you guys this is like a large turkey burger so i'm going to go ahead and pop these in the oven right alongside those potatoes and we're going to let these cook until they're all the way cooked which is probably going to be about 25 minutes or so With our dinner, we're gonna steam up some of these organic great value broccoli florets. And these are actually really good for a store brand. Make sure you get the organic if you're trying to avoid a lot of the pesticides, but I'm popping this in the microwave and this will be our side. So I just pulled the meatloafs out of the oven. They look delicious. And then I just also pulled out the potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and get these plated up. We've got broccoli in the microwave and I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the smart points. 
All right, so here's tonight's dinner. You guys, this looks amazing. So there is one of the mini meatloaves. I went ahead and topped it with some of this Primal Kitchen Ketchup Unsweetened Organic. It's zero smart points. And that's going to add that nice bit of ketchup to the top. The meatloaf itself is only five smart points. You can't beat that. And that's five points on all plans. And then also the potatoes here, the amount that I have is four points on the blue plan and the green plan. And of course, zero points on purple. I just have some broccoli with some salt and pepper. You guys, this looks so delicious. This is going to be a nine smart point dinner. For dessert tonight, I'm gonna to have a peanut a butter brownie built bar. These are four smart points. The nut base bars are generally four with the exception of the coconut almond. It's actually only three. All of the OG or the fruit or other types of built bars are three smart points. I really like this one because it has 20 grams of protein, seven fiber and seven fat. So it keeps you nice and full and it's absolutely delicious. So one of my favorite things to do for dessert is to take the built bar, put it on a plate and then throw it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. It gets nice and melty like an ooey gooey brownie. All right, so there it is. It's all ooey gooey and warm like a brownie. Great way to have this for dessert. So this is four smart points and that will round out my food for today.